गुड मॉर्निंग एंड नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर जी प्रसाद राव अ सीनियर साइकैट्रिस्ट एंड आई एम हैप्पी टू इंटरेक्ट विथ यू through this manasarovar youtube channel today let us try to understand depression when do we call depression as a disorder what are the depressions of the day to day life and how to understand them in a totally different fashion from the way you understand i am conscious that i am making a statement that you understand depression differently many times most of us have our own opinions about depression but today i am going to talk to you on the distress and depressions of the day to day life depression along with happiness and anger and anxiety or anxiety is fear of unknown are probably the most common emotions every one of us have they have to the extent which sometimes is more sometimes is less it's also dynamic in the sense that it lasts for a short period for example you are in a worried mood for some time but then you change over to happiness once the environment or you change within your own mood the other things probably are much more more difficult are the suspiciousness as an emotion people generally need to be careful and safe most of us a human being as he grows he is first taught to survive by eating and protecting himself but human being is unique that his brain has grown to the extent that one he can communicate to others by speech and a language which probably has hundreds across the world but apart from the language we also have communication through the emotions you communicate your body and your face communicates the emotions which you harbor at that time if you are happy your face is brown your hands are moving you are smiling and laughing joking and talking whereas you are sad naturally the opposite part you become quiet you are worried you are worried for the things happening at that time you might worry for some period mind you these two emotions are quite normal especially if these emotions don't last more than few hours and do not impair your day to day functioning a housewife probably should not be impaired to the extent that her her functions of the housewife is not being done as a homemaker or a working lady or a gentleman his or her work should not be impaired a child studies and social interaction should not be impaired likewise adolescents do not should not be affected because of their sad moods or moody swings there is a time where the brain grows very fast that is the teenage uh, that is between 12 years and 18 years the brain grows and reaches its maximum weight of 1 and 1/2 kilos but when we talk about increase in size we are talking about increase in the nervous cells increase in the connectivity in the nerve cells and brain is a supercomputer which is connected with literally trillions of connections within the brain one nerve cell can con- get connected with 50000 other cells so that is the extent of connectivity which the brain has and this connectivity is you can say fueled by neurotransmitter hormones like dopamine serotonin and norepinephrine there are two other important factors which is important when we try to understand the day to day depressions women in general are three times more at the risk to develop depressive disorders when compared to men or depressive mood changes when compared to men why because their sex hormones which are essentially to pro- help in procreation of another life to give a birth to a child is estrogen progesterone follicular stimulated hormone or fsh and luteinizing hormone which is lh and of course finally the prolactin the baby feeding hormone prolactin helps in producing milk for the mother to help to feed the child all these hormones among these hormones there is a significant risk of developing mood changes 
that's why every woman especially premenstrually might have at least a small mood changes now let us come to the depressions of day to day life when do we actually call depression we call depression whenever this mood symptoms last much longer than 4 to 6 weeks in a continuous fashion just now we have heard that depression mood changes do occur for every one of us for few hours and you are able to change over but there are for some reasons which i am going to tell you the individual would be in a persistent depressive mode these people usually have sad feelings they have sleep disturbances where they can't go to sleep or they wake up in the middle of the night once they wake up in the middle of the night they are not able to go to sleep till early morning 3 or 4 and as they wake up they wake up with a real bad mood what happens if you are not sleeping and your spouse or other family members are actually deeply are in a deep sleep with snoring as well you start worrying what happened to you you start thinking negative about you you start worrying about things surrounding at that point of time you start thinking that you probably are not able to do tomorrow's work you are probably not able to get up you are not able to give a feed cooking the food for the family members or you will not be able to do household work so this is how a depression in day to day life starts for everyone be it a male be it a female the symptoms are more or less common but usually they are unique to your own self depending on your environment your problems your education everyone consistently starts thinking that i am not able to work i am a hopeless person i am a worthless person i am there's no point living this roughly takes 3 to 6 months to develop these symptoms in fact almost all depressive individuals when the depression is more than 3 to 4 months they start worrying about the hopelessness and it's better to die and some among them do have suicide thoughts or the suicide is one of the complication of a depressive disorder which is treatable and preventable depression occurs because the neurohormones deficiency is there and the depression depends on these three neurohormones each neurohormone has some special functions for example the appetites are lost appetite for eating appetite for sex appetite to live all these things are lost because of serotonin the energy levels are reduced because of norepinephrine so we roughly would tend to gauge your symptoms based on the that we come to a conclusion that this neurohormones what normally happens in a depression if it occurs your everyday life functions are affected you are a software engineer you don't have interest to do and in fact you feel quite troublesome there is also your day to day functioning that you won't get up in the morning you won't get up and take your day to day chores properly like you don't brush you don't take bath for days you don't eat properly consequently you lose your weight and for women especially there would be disturbance in their women menstrual cycles which actually is a troubling thing for them because they don't know what's going to what's happening they know something is happening so these changes in day to day life actually impairs their day to day functioning ladies and gentlemen depression is the second most common disorder which causes second most commonly disability in the world and stresses of the modern day which includes competition competitive living comparing yourself with others all these things actually can trigger a depressive reaction so this is ladies and gentlemen depression of everyday life now how to prevent them i think how to prevent them is essentially based on a proper living and proper identifying eat your proper meals try not to indulge in sedating or alcohol kind of things without the doctor's advice definitely have a proper diet to which is appropriate to your age this is called yama niyama and then practice pranayama regularly do any relaxation technique if you are don't having depression practice even meditation which is a very good relaxation technique practice properly for 20 minutes every day as a part of your life 
Ideally, I suggest if they are couple, both of them should do together and have a regular walk. And as you grow up to 35 to 40 years, apart from this, have a more regular exercises in terms of body maintenance. Check your hypertension and diabetes and prevent any faulty metabolic disorders you have like diabetes or hypertension with a proper physician control. Last but not the least is whenever you have a persistence of depression in your day-to-day -day life, please consult your psychiatrist at least by two to three months of this suffering so that you would not only recover fully but recover completely. Remember you delay coming to us, that is a psychiatrist or psychologist. The disorder is still treatable but you are suffering and you along with your family suffering. Ladies and gentlemen, nice talking to you. I'm going to see you in my next mental health program in this channel. Namaste. I am Dr. G. Prasad Rao, a senior psychiatrist from Hyderabad.